All right, so I want to point out a couple of reasons why you might want to use this little device here. This is the ATEM Mini Pro for a scenario where, let's say you're streaming at a church, something like that. And I believe that this device is a really good plan for a number of reasons. We have two different cameras coming in. So we have camera one and camera two. Unfortunately, camera one and camera two aren't really balanced together very well right now. Uh, we would need to do quite a bit more dialing in for that, but you get the picture. We have two different cameras coming in. And then you also would have a scenario where you would have whatever the media player is coming in. This is whatever's going to be playing your lyrics or the pastor's slides. They're gonna come over and that's gonna come into this as well. Then you have media from computer. In this scenario, I'm using a iPad and the iPad, you can be doing things like showing slides. You could have a little picture here if you wanna do something like that. You could also be playing media. This is from the, uh, this is a YouTube clip. You could be showing something like a countdown, something like this would work. So that would work if you're doing something like that. Or you could also be showing basically anything, anything you would need input from a computer that could either come from something like an iPad or the computer that you're using. You would only really need one computer. You also have the sound coming through. And I have uh, this microphone and it's coming through this ATEM Mini Pro right now. The ATEM Mini is essentially the same thing, but there's a couple added parts to the Pro that, that aren't on this one here. And so what you have coming in are those four inputs, the camera one, two, three, and four. Then you have your sound. For example, right now, I on the, the Pro, I have a microphone plugged into this. You could have anything. You could actually have whatever the output is from <clears throat> your the soundboard coming into this right here. So you also would have control of this whole thing through the software that is on the computer. And the software that's on the computer is actually pretty cool. It does quite a few things here. You'll notice that we have the program view and this is showing what is actually on air right now. And then you would have the preview mode. And then you will notice that when I switch this, I'm now on camera two. When I switch back, I'm back on camera three it, and it goes back and forth. So the software, there are a lot of things that you can control with this. This little guy over here, this downstream key is really, really cool. And this is one of the reasons why you would want to have this set up as camera three being the input on, into the switcher itself, because you're going to have your lyrics and the way we do it is we have the lyrics set up on a, a black background and then the lyrics over there and then you turn on this this keyer now this is going to look really bad right now because it's superimposing <laughs> a, a weird view over this but if that were lyrics you would then have them superimposed over whatever cap the camera is seeing so it's being controlled here. And these over here, these two little features here are the reason why the Pro, like in my opinion, is probably worth upgrading to get these features right here. The first is the recording. Now you'll notice that on this, this, record, this uh, machine right here, we have this little red button at the top here that says record, which is missing in the, the regular version, the, the mini version. But I have hooked up to this USB in the back. I have hooked up a USB drive 
that's going into it, and it is recording everything that's going out as the program. The reason this is a good idea is because if all you're having, if the only recording you have is whatever's going out to YouTube, that probably is not gonna be a great recording and it's as good as YouTube has it. So it's not gonna be super solid. So if you have this recorder happening as well, then you're going to get a really uh, high quality recording coming out of whatever you're doing, whatever you're streaming. The second reason why I, I think this is such a, a great plan is because you have a cool monitor feature. Now let me show you what I mean by that. This monitor right here is not the greatest in the world for this kind of thing because it's um, not very big and so it's, it's not gonna give you a great, great view. However, what you're gonna notice here is that you have basically, let me try and get that little squared here for you. Well, you, you just have whatever is coming out of the switcher. Now watch this. This is what the ATEM Mini Pro has that the Mini doesn't. Oh my goodness, what is all this? I, do, I don't know. This, this is a bunch of different screens in here. So we have the program view. This is whatever is going out on your stream. Then we have a preview mode. So you can set it up whatever the next... Uh, thing you're going to be looking at, whatever the next camera angle or the media source you're going to be using. And so you can have that previewed and it is going to give you a, a way to make sure that it's in focus, make sure it's set, the exposure set the way you want it before it goes live. So program, this is what's going out. Preview, this is what's coming up next. And then you have your different cameras, one, two, three, and four. So again, this would probably be whatever the media source is there. We have sound stuff, we have, it's showing the recording is going on. And I really think this feature is super cool because you are able to see all of your different camera angles, you're able to choose from them before they go live. And another thing that this does that the, the Mini doesn't do is that it actually streams. Now, I have not, I've not tried this yet, so I'm not really sure how well this works. I assume it works okay, I've heard it works okay. But if you're able to stream directly from the ATEM Mini itself, you are able then to sort of get rid of one piece of software or one piece of hardware and the more streamlined we could be, the probably the better we could be, the less room we're taking up here. And so I would suggest that using this kind of setup could really give you a advantage moving forward. So thanks for watching.